Welcome to DarwinChin.com. Today we're going to take a look at replacing hard drives in my Western Digital uh, MyBook Duo. Uh, so if you saw my previous video about this thing, uh, basically I picked it up so I can uh, store my photos and videos on it on my machine. Uh, and I, I set it up as a, um, well it was two terabytes, two two terabyte drives, which Ultimately, you know, setting up the mirror, I only had two two available as opposed to having four. Problem is now I ran out of space. I uh, I miscalculated how much space I needed. So what I did is I went and picked up some new hard drives here. Picked up some new hard drives uh, that came in, and so we're gonna basically um, well, I'm gonna take a look at replacing the hard drives on this thing and seeing what it's, what it's like to take the video or take the photos and videos off my existing hard drives that are in here now after I take them out and put them, putting them back on the new drives. So we'll take a look and we'll see what the process is for doing all that. All right, so here I have two brand new drives. These are the same type of drives that are in the Duo. These are uh, four terabyte uh, Western Digital Red drives, which are basically more, well, this there, that's Western Digital's brand for drives that are made for these kind of disk arrays. So I'm essentially doubling my storage, going from two to four. So first things first, is, uh, let's go take the drives out of this guy. If you saw my previous video, it's pretty straightforward how to do. Once I get this thing, I'm gonna take the cage off here. And from here, pull tabs for drives one and two. Out. There you go. And you see, these are two terabyte drives. Now, this is the first time I've actually replaced these drives. So, this is, uh, I've never actually never done this before. So, it's a little bit new for me. So, I'll put this to the side like that. And we will work on taking out the pieces we need. So, this was drive two. We're going to drive one first, and I got a little Phillips and screwdriver here. And basically, the only things that are really here are just uh, these two notches. And if you want to replace the sticker, you can do that as well. Oh, there's a tag. All right, put that aside. Take one of these guys out now. new drive. Keep the same orientation where this thing was at. So put this one back first. I'll just kind of tighten that down. Not too tight. This one here, I have to put this little thing through that little loop here. So I can whoops. So I can bring that out the back here. Oops. As I can try to do this from the camera, sorry for being clumsy with it. Here we go. Hang on, I'll put this down here for a minute. First drive. Well, one thing I made a mistake once before was I had this kind of at an angle and it got caught and it kind of, kind of jammed and so you, know, you want to be sure you don't do that. So nice snug in there. All right. So that's first drive. Do the next one. So nice things to drive here, put this to the side. And yeah, second one here, same deal. So you can see this as a note, the circuit board side 
goes into you know, faces in towards the center of the of the device. I can do this one. I'm not so clumsy with it. Alright, there we have it. Once again, it lines up. You can see the slot. I don't know if you can see that. The slot's back there. So, oop, I put this in backwards. The tab is backwards. Right, hold on, try to pull it through this again. All right, it's bound to happen. Faces this way, faces down. Sorry about that. All right, so we get started. Again, all right, there. Let's see from this side here, so slips in. All right, what I'll do maybe later is I'll take the stickers off and from these guys here and put them on, but for now, I'm not going to. All right, so I'll make sure these kind of come in. It goes backside first, it kind of slips down in front. And screw that in. Oh, let's see. Come on, get in there. Ah, come on. Nope, I missed. Hang on a second. A little tricky to put in there. Once it's in, tightens down pretty easily. And all right, the rays been reassembled. So let's put this, put this together. Well, let's put it hooked up to the computer, and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I have my setup here of my Service Pro 3. I'll plug this guy in. And we'll plug the USB adapter in. Put that down. See what it's. It does. All right, it's not complaining about anything. No red lights. Because it probably doesn't it doesn't feel there's a drive failure. I don't think so yet. Because they're two totally two blank hard drives. Plug. Oh, I just plugged it into the side. And we'll run the WD drive utilities here. Alright, so what's it telling me here? So, okay, so right here, I got a prompt right here that says, Your device, my book duo, has RAID configuration issues. And so, so it wants me to launch the software to fix it. So, let's take a look. Well, running the software here basically shows that the RAID is not even configured. Uh, let's see if the drives even show up as a mounted disk at all. Um, it does not, which is okay. That's a, sort of a, what I would expect it to be like. So I'll close that down. All right, so we're going to do a configuration here, and I'm going to basically uh, what I'm going to do is select it as a, a mirror because that's the whole point of what I was doing is I wanted to be as a as a as a mirror drive, and basically it's warning me that uh, it'll erase everything anything that's on them and there's nothing on them anyway. So I'll configure. So let's see, got to mount itself. And 
and all right. And once it launches the quick formatter, and see the drives working away there, and it's done. There it is. So we have this PC view here. Scroll down to this side. Well, I don't know why I should wear this side so big, but see that the MyBook Duo now has 3.63 terabytes of storage. So that's great. So that's exactly what I wanted to do. So now it tells me it's configured and we're good to go. The nice thing then is I didn't lose any data because even though I replaced these drives, data is still on here. And because I had it set up as a mirror beforehand, these two drives have the same data that I had on them. So if I wanted to, I could use something like uh, a drive, a uh, this little knickknack here, for example. Use one of these guys here. It's a USB 3 uh, dock, a hard drive dock, SATA dock, for um, you know, that basically has got to take two drives. But I'll just use, I could just use one. And I could basically, if there's data on here, I can take this off, plug this into the back of this guy, because this guy has a USB hub at the back, there's two USB 3 ports in the back, and with that, I can basically just copy anything from here to here, and I'd pretty much be exactly where I left off, which is great. So, there you have it. A look at swapping out hard drives uh, on the Western Digital MyBook Duo. Alright, if you have any questions about this little knickknack, and um, any questions about it at all, or if there's something you want to see that I didn't do, feel free to, feel free to subscribe and send me a note. Thanks for watching.